Well, what is supposed to define a country is that it has a government. And the principal responsibility, number one responsibility of every government uh, is to secure the lives and properties of people, of its citizens. But the, the, the reverse seems to be the case when it comes to Nigeria. We seem to be moving from fry pan to fire in the aspect and the areas of insecurity or security, so to speak. It is not too good a news. I just had to, you know, bring this up here uh, uh, at Serious Matters here at ONIF TV. Uh, and it's not really, really a good one. I think it's high time our, our government wake up. We cannot continue like this. FCT is no more safe. In fact, some, some people are already calling for a state of emergency in the FCT. And the minister of the FCT is busy having grudges and issues with a governor of another state, or said, suppose he's from a state, when they should be concentrated and focused on sorting out issues that have to do with their domain. They went around, I mean, there's nothing wrong with infrastructures and all of those things, but security, very, very key. The issue I want to talk about this morning is not really, really a good one. Sincerely speaking, it's not really good. And I hope this video gets to whoever and the people that are, that, 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 that are supposed to do something about this. I hope it gets to them. And I hope our voices, when you drop your comment, I hope our voices are heard. Because the truth is this, it is getting closer to your doorstep. That is the truth. You think the, the Nigerian, the, the, the masses are the ones still suffering? This, this insecurity issue will get to your doorstep. You can drive bulletproof cars. You can travel, you can run away. But you cannot run for too long. You can't run for life. That is the truth. If all that we are supposed to be using to secure our lives, all that you are supposed to, you are put in that position to secure us. And yet, these people, you put, you put all the money that are supposed to be used to, you know, whether you have an agreement with these things, with these animals outside there, whether you, I don't, I don't even understand. I don't understand. I don't understand that, that kidnappers will, will raid a place, take away people, and still collect ransom. And these monies and these people are not tracked. No single arrest was made during the time of Buhari. Here we are now. Emilokon, Emilokon. And you, Otiwakon, you buy it. Otiwakon, you, daddy. Eti Debe, you see, Otiwakon, you see, Otiwakon, you see, Mepha. Eh, wo bonche, you pa wen yon. Eh? Eh, wo bonche, you pa wen yon. She be yini, commander in chief. What's, why, why all this? Sincerely speaking, this is, it's getting out of hand. Except you don't, you think because you are in a convoy and nobody, you don't even feel what everybody is feeling outside there. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's coming to your doorstep. I hope you know that these children, the children that have been killed, I hope they, you know that they were born by some people. They are, parents, they, are people's, they are people's children. Let's go straight. Please don't forget, this is Serious Matters here at ONF TV. And my name is Olukun Abrams. Now, Abuja kidnappers killed three of the ten victims. They have jacked their ransom to 700 million naira. Ex-minister, I saw his, you know, I just didn't talk about it here. You know, when he said that a friend of his had to raise them about 60 million or so for them to get rescued. But then those kidnappers has gone ahead now to kill those, they are killing those children one by one. The future of our nation, the future, are being killed before our very eyes by some animals outside there. No single arrest has been made. No single arrest. No single arrest. Our, 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 our domain is so big that we can, it cannot be combed. With all the technology around the world today, in, in the world today now, you can send a drone, you can send a drone to somewhere, distant away, and it will go and wreck the, whatever you need to do there, it will go and do it there. 
Well, thanks to the uh, 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 custom officers who were able to, you know, I saw that they were able to, they, they, they were able to seize um, some drones and they were hardware, they were military drones, they were drones for, you know, for, for attacks, offensive drone, drones. Who were the people that ordered those things? We don't know. Bandits we get, we have gone, they carry AK 47s. Look at the killings in, in play two states. The blood that is being shed. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to. I don't know. I, I feel very, very. I feel very bad about this. I mean, kidnappers who abducted 10 persons from an estate, Shagwari Shag Shag layout, due to Abuja, you know, on January 7th this year, reportedly killed three of their victims to send a strong warning to their relatives negotiating ransom payment. The development came even as it was gathered that the bandits have now increased their demand from the initial 60 million naira per person to 100 million naira, now totaling 700 million naira that they are looking for. And the government is not saying anything about it. I was in this country, in Nigeria. I was in Nigeria. When American, Americans came to save just one person in the days of Jonathan. Uh, and they said, they, they, the military said, oh, we knew that they were around. These guys came to save just one person. They came to save just one person. They came to rescue one person that was kidnapped. One American citizen. One, one, one. One. We can't grow like this as a nation. You can, if you like, spend all the billion in the world. We can't grow like this. The day you start to value lives and properties, the, in fact, number one, the day we start to value the lives of Nigerians, that's the day we start to grow. And this value has to be a thing of the heart. You must really care. So you can spend billions. If there is no heart, there is no, there is no in-depth thoughts towards the people. We are not going anywhere. You can jack up, you can, you can pad all the budgets, you can do all the, I don't care. We are not growing. You can bring all the investment in the old world to Nigeria. I don't care. We are not growing. We will not grow until we start to value lives. The lives of Nigerians must be valued. And then you will see growth. Well, residents said that the victims were allegedly killed over the delay in ransom, uh, in raising the ransom demanded by the kidnappers. Um, credit to Vanguard. Vanguard gathered that a 13-year-old high school student identified as Fallon Rinsho Ario was among those that have been killed. Baba Tinubu, Baba, Elen Yilo Kon, Awon Monyi Nong Pa Yio, Awon Monyi Nong Pa Yio, Eh, de she in kakan, eh, she in kakan sisa. Eh, she in kakan, eh, de le nyi lo kan. Eh, la wa lo kan. Eh? Eh, la wa lo kan. Ha. To. To. To ri, if it were to be, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot, I don't know. I just, if it were to be a, a, a child from a particular part, you know, it would have, one would have said that, okay, maybe because you are from this side, that's why you don't care. Your own children. Your own children, sir. Your children, children. They are the ones that are being killed. <laughs> you know now where you come from. The southern part, the southwest believes that a child, a child, a child, I know, I know, you know, quite a lot, we have different, you know, ways of having the same belief anyway, but on, in the southwest, we believe that every child is not just owned by the parent, you know, is our, our, is our child, Omowa, Omowa, is our child. So when I say it's your child, you know what I'm talking about, sir. 
Well, only on Sunday, reports emerged that the kidnappers who also operated in some villages in Bwari had killed one of the six abducted persons to force the family to qu into quickly raising, you know, raising the demanded ransom. Dutse is a town under the Bwari Area Council of the FCT. And we have not had the FCT minister talk about this. We've not had the FCT minister talking about this. He's busy with Fubara. He's busy fighting Fubara. He's busy. Well, holding sway as godfather in River State is more important to him than being minister in FCT. Maybe we should look for somebody else who will be more of the FCT, who will be more concerned with FCT, who will be focused 100% on FCT. Who will not take FCT, FCT work as a side or zoo? Because that's the way it looks now. That the federal minister, the federal capital territory minister, is taking his job, his real job, as a side or zoo. He should be on the front front, forefront, shouting, singing those his song. Say we no go agree. We no go agree for bandits. These guys collect all the millions. Where do they spend the money? Do they drive cars? Do they drive? Do they fly jets? Do they travel abroad? I don't know. I don't know. Well, pressed to the wall, residents of Shagwai layout have perfected plans to stage a massive protest against the pre perceived inaction of the government and security agencies in rescuing uh, their kings. Initially planned for Monday, the protest was shifted to Tuesday as a result of Armed Forces Remembrance uh, Day. So we are going to have that protest, that that protest is going to hold today. <sighs> I, I, I feel very bad seeing this young girl, you know, lose her life, uh, you know, to, uh, to our carelessness. Mm, we just don't care. That's the truth. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. And we want to grow. We don't care and we want to develop. We don't care and we are, and we are, we are, we are, we are crying, uh, we are crying that we are under, we are pained. Ah. Please drop your comments and make them simple and civil. Thank you.